this is like my third time trying to film this video i don't know what the deal is today the first video everything was good until i realized something went wrong and then the second time filmed the whole video and the whole like five to eight minutes that i was filming there was like all this gook of like lipstick on my teeth it's crazy anyway with all that said, I want to welcome you to my favorites video. Probably be one of my only favorites video for the year. <laughs> and in the beginning, I was trying to film every couple, um, you know, for the season and stuff like that. But then this year, I was on a low spend, no spend uh, type of kick in my family because we just had some financial situations going on. And I was like, you know what, we got to just buckle down you know what i'm saying so we were super low spend and i mean like bare minimum stuff like only things that you really 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 needed is what we would purchase aside from food and like you know yeah so um so it took me a while to get even a list together because i didn't really have that margin to uh be exploring you know so with all that said thanks so much for sticking around and staying on my channel lots of different changes here and there i'll get into that another time i don't think i'm going to get into that in this video but i do want to dive right into my favorites and just quickly tell you what they all are so the first thing that has been super awesome and a great addition to my life <laughs> is this right here it is a pour over coffee maker very very simple as you can see i got it for 750 when i looked online this was actually 21 dollars no 20 dollars i think it was um on here it says 15 was the original price but um in my my pursuit of becoming more minimalist and miss jaxi is calling for me Jackson, I'm busy, babe. In pursuit of trying to be more minimalist and just save money and just all that, not find myself at Starbucks all the time, um, I was looking for a coffee maker. Now, the coffee maker that I did see at first was like 20 bucks or something on sale. Great price, but then the issue was that I have such a small kitchen and such small counter space, I felt like it was just gonna take too much space on my counters. So um, I put that back and I walked a little bit further and I saw on the end cap that there was this. And so super, super excited about that because it's a simple glass crop. I can wash it, put it away whenever. It comes with this mesh strainer, the glass, um, you know, Florence flask or whatever this is, you know and super duper simple at first there was some trial and error with you know me getting the the, the type of coffee strength that i wanted but um this one i do recommend and it is the sorry um the autumn maple coffee um ground coffee from trader joe's it smells so good and i love it um just even using this now this is it's a light roast it's actually not too light of a roast to me i drink my co coffee black a lot so i don't like something too strong that makes me feel like i'm you know just your stomach is so like turning and stuff because of just how strong that coffee is my stomach's kind of sensitive so um yeah these two together have been a great addition to my life interestingly even though um it's a pour over the extra steps in making the coffee have been actually pretty welcome. I don't know. I thought I would be like, no, I just need something super simple. I even used to use coffee like in a packet, like sachet type thing. And I would just use that and it would kind of brew like that. But which is still, I think, a really great idea. But I just um, really enjoyed the steps in making this. And um, there's a video that I had saw, had seen <laughs> on YouTube from somebody uh and they were just explaining the steps and the tips in order to get a really great cup of coffee and it helped me tremendously so i'll link that below now next um what did we enjoy oh yes we have been or Jax has been enjoying these laura bars um they're kind of like a chocolate brownie flavor i like them because they're only nine ingredients everything you know what it is and it's gluten-free it isn't like an everyday thing because they are kind of pricey but as a nice little treat every now and then yeah he's really been enjoying it my older boys not so much because they prefer just like a traditional brownie but um jeff's been liking them and yeah it's been great now this one i'm going to mention 
I hesitate, hesitatingly <laughs> um, mention it because these, okay, this is a Korean um, kind of miso soy soybean paste, um, like a dehydrated little like pack. So what it is, I looked at the ingredients, all perfectly natural ingredients, no MSG, nothing weird you can't pronounce or whatever. It's all just basically a dehydrated, it's the soup, but just dehydrated it. All you have to do is add hot water. It's good for camping or maybe you're super duper sick and you don't really feel like getting up and making yourself a pot of soup and you don't have family nearby or just whatever. Um, it's that type of a thing. And so I've really been enjoying it. You add hot water and in 10 seconds you have a piping hot bowl of soup that tastes like you just made it on the stove. It's pretty, pretty crazy you guys, but we've been liking it. It's called miso. Um, denjangku, which is like soybean soup. So yeah, soybean paste soup, excuse me. So that's been pretty good. Now on to the things that you wear. So the first thing that I got, I, a lot of people, they have different shoes for different outfits. That's never been my type of personality. I've always been a very classic kind of capsule wardrobe before it was even called a capsule wardrobe. Like I just stuck to a few pieces in my closet um, that I can wear every day, especially being a busy mom. Um, and so I had these pair of um, leopard shoes that I love. They were super cute with like a little bow. I think I got from Marshalls or something. And I wore those every single day um, to the point where they got so worn that it wasn't even like even on the bottom. It like looked warped. So I don't know where I saw or heard, but Walmart has been coming through y'all with um, some pretty cute things. So I went and got you guys, I didn't realize that they even had memory foam in them, but they are the most comfortable pair of shoes, like for real. They're super cute. It's like a quilted kind of a thing. Very comfortable from the Time and True brand. I've been wearing them nonstop. I wear them for everything. They're just basic slip on shoes. I can't remember the price, but they were not even $15. Um, maybe 14, 13, something like that. I don't even know, but I love them. And they're so super duper comfortable. They had different kinds. They actually had a olive green one that was really pretty. And what was the other color? I'll try to insert a quick little video that I had shot when I was there. I was really looking for the white sneaker ones that have like leopard on the side, like in a strip. Kind of looks kind of Gucci-ish, but not really. Um, just like as a basic sneaker to kind of wear around as well, kind of every day, but I didn't see them there. Um, and online, they didn't have my size. So if you see them, please holla at your girl and let me know. The next thing that uh, I've been enjoying, and this is not even remotely a new item in the YouTube world. <laughs> and it is uh, the Mario Badescu um, Rosewater Spray. Uh, you guys, I have really been enjoying this. My skin is super duper dry. So I have been hydrating with this. I've had it for a while, um, well over two years, <laughs> but I just started making it part of my routine in the mornings, like before I put on my sunscreen and, um, you know, if I'm wearing makeup for the day or whatever, I've really been enjoying it. It has, you know, aloe, herbs and rose water, and it's just super hydrating. I just like the way it feels. So, um, Sorry, there's some people walking by and it was just a little bit awkward <laughs> shooting in front of my window as they walked by. Anywho. Um, what else? Where was I? Oh yeah. So this spray, super hydrating, love it. I think I got mine from Nordstrom Rack um, for five bucks, because that's what it says here. <laughs> but yeah, I think just to try it out. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised, especially in these winter months. Like for me, we don't really have winter that bad where I live, but for a lot of um, you guys around the, the nation and around the world, I'm sure winters can be pretty blistering for you guys. Next, I've really been enjoying it. I don't know if I brought it up, but I'm just gonna mention it. It is the Milani. I think it's just a pretty color. It's so flattering, so super creamy. It's not really wearing, I'm wearing something else. I'm wearing something else with it. But this, it's just a really pretty color. And I think it's kind of um, universal for, for all throughout the whole entire year, actually. All right, next is a book. 
something to read. So this is what I, um, one of my favorite books and it's called The Autobiography of George Mueller. He was a gentleman who um, somehow, I guess kind of felt called by God to take care of these orphans in Bristol, England. And um, it's basically like his uh, diary, I guess, or his journal entries. And you just, he just kind of recounts and just tells step by step what, how the Lord provided and just came through for him, just everything. Like there's, you know, um, stories where he was there, like he had a, like a house full of orphans you know and it was time to eat and he had nothing to feed them with. he was like i don't know but he had them sit down at the table and as soon as they i think finished giving thanks there's a knock on the door and someone comes and is like oh you know what i just felt like i have all this bread the lord woke me up this morning and told me that i need to make this bread and bring it to you guys and he was just like amen and so that came in a little, little bit while later another knock on the door this guy has milk you know what i just felt and like the kids were sitting down ready to eat with nothing to eat and just moments and 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 just testimonies like that of how the Lord just provided for them as he did what he felt God would have him do and so it's an encouragement as we all go into 2020 we all have big dreams and great things that we felt like you know God might be wanting us to do and sometimes we wonder could God really do it through us you know or we feel like we don't have the means or we don't have the faith or just whatever read this book it is so encouraging um, it'll really bless your life from now until roughly around Thanksgiving time. So we have a good two to three weeks of, where'd it go? Oh yeah, here it is. To get these boxes together. So this is um, called a Operation Christmas Child Box and our church is doing it. It is a great organization that uh, takes these shoe boxes, you fill them up with just, they tell you what kind of things to fill it up with and um, it's great to do with your kids and just kind of get people thinking um, beyond them. But it's not just about the gift that is being taken to these kids in these countries. Um, a lot of times uh, it's not only meeting a felt need, but it's the gospel that's being presented to these kids. And you know, it just tells you how to fill the shoe box, you know, what to do, um, who it reaches. You can track it so you and your family, and, you know, your kids can you know, look to see where it went. It's a really, really great thing to do, I think, um, right before the holidays really set in, um, especially with the Christmas holidays, to kind of get our minds off of ourselves and what we can be getting and how we can increase you know, our material things and whatever, but to really put our focus on others. So it's a really great thing. I just wanted to bring your attention to this. If you guys have any uh, any questions or anything, I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description box for you guys to look into this. And um, definitely let me know if you in the comments, if you guys have ever participated in the blessing, how it's impacted your life or your family or your church. I'd love to hear those stories. Uh, next. Oh, um, I also wanted to highlight a few social media um, people that I've been coming across. One of these days, um, I'm gonna try to give you guys a, a, a brief little update on what has been happening in my life um, and in my kids' life and just different things like that. We've been going through just some different changes and stuff and so, um, but God's been good to us through all of it. And so anywho, I hope you guys find at least something in this video that's a value. If you did, click the like button and definitely if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get, uh, my goal was really to get to 2000, but it seems I'm, I'm more on the track to get to 1000, <laughs> but uh, at least by the end of this year. Um, but you never know if everyone who watches my videos could just subscribe and continue to have faith um that'll bring valuable content um to you guys as the lord gives me strength because it is a lot like you don't realize how much time and a lot of that it takes in order to just put out produce one video it's it's a lot and so um 
anyway um i guess that's it i will get out of your hair you guys have a fantastic fantastic november um i plan to come on before the month ends but i'm really not sure so but if i don't um have a great november have a great thanksgiving full of just thanking god for all that he's done because he really has been very good to us and so yeah all right you guys take care see you bye